they're reacting to Vicuda's two control reels. Um, don't buy the Xbox Elite Series 2 and don't buy Tamer controllers. So we're going to see what they're all about and I'm going to give them each a waiting. So, let's go. Fuck this day. Before anyone in the comments start. Oof. That's just They're saying, oh, I've had my Elite Series 2 for this long, this long, this long. I have not once thrown this controller. That was the first time I've ever thrown this controller. I don't abuse my shit. I haven't broken a controller in about a year and a half. But the looks of his appearance and the way he's saying it, it, it sounds kind of freaking like he did, like... The only time my controllers break is when they fucking wear out on me. Every four to six fucking months. I was... Yeah... Yeah, that's because um, the Xbox One stock controllers are like a lot harder and a lot more advanced than the Xbox 360 controllers. Because before the Xbox Elite Series One even exists, um, the Xbox 360 scuff controllers lasted a lot longer than like the stocks of controllers. So that's why they're freaking breaking because it's a lot harder to engineer like. Event control of the Elite Series 2 when it came out. I was in full support of the Elite Series 1. I loved both of the controllers. Here's the thing. I've had three Elite controllers, not one of which I have broken on purpose. My Gen 1, the black one, came to the mail broken. <laughs> yeah, that's just sad that it came in a broken. Dead serious. My next Elite controller was the Gen 1 version 2, which was white with a few upgrades done to it. That lasted six months, got stick drift so bad in my right stick that every time I moved it, I looked up. And then every single time I touched my left stick, it would honk the horn in GTA. And then with this one... Yeah, I played GTA. It's just... It's GTA is a lot harder than it used to be. So I'm trying to make a living in GTA. A month after I get it, I get light stick drift in my left stick. I want to point out that at, in one of his live streams, I talked to him... Um, saying um no some person saying can you like fix the your old controllers he said yes so he so during this time during like these two videos he didn't know how to fix the controllers but now he kind of knows how to fix it or freaking don't want so yeah and i think okay it's nothing in five months it'll get really bad i'll just go get another replacement nope two months later my right bumper stops working this is a 180 dollar controller factoring in yeah my controller costs 300 dollars it's um so 300 dollars controller is just gonna be just matter of fact like it, a 180 dollar controller is ain't worth crap if it's like series one but series two plus as the numbers gonna show you is just gonna show you that Xbox as one controls and PlayStation Four controls a lot harder freaking work on and if they like special ones than Xbox three sixty and PS three controls. Tax and then the fifty dollar warranty on top of that? This is around two hundred and forty, two hundred and fifty bucks at the end of the day. For a fucking pro controller, that's gonna last you three to eight months maximum. But you're saying, but Kuda, you have a warranty. Why don't you just go to GameStop and get another one? Here's the issue. This wouldn't be a big deal if this was an Elite Series 1 controller. I would probably just go to GameStop, and it's not that big of a deal because the warranty on the Elite Series 1 was $20. The warranty for this is $50. Okay, so I'm gonna show a comment that I posted. It was like a joke. Cause um, GameStop just sucks. It sucks. Don't know why it exists. Yeah, yeah, it was a joke. We could, if you're watching that, that this is a joke. That was the joke. Cause GameStop just sucks. Every time you go to GameStop and you get a new controller due to your warranty, like stick drift, bumper isn't working. This, that, the other. If you get another controller, you have to buy another warranty. Which is $50 for this expensive-ass controller. Think about spending $50 on a controller every four months. That's three times a year. So you're spending $150 on, on the controller in warranty money. And then you spend $180 on it for the controller itself. And then you add tax on top of all of that. How much is that? It's, I'll put it on screen right here. It's pre Ooh. 
If you don't know, this dude lives in the same state as me, which is Michigan, and the best state in the world. Not really, because we home to the West fucking and football team in, in the United States. So, freaking. So, yeah, if it last six months, you're gonna have a total of. $700. Hold up. No, forget. Probably not something you're willing to pay for a controller yearly. Take whatever that number was, subtract it by 180, and you have your annual cost for having an Elite Series 2 controller. Pe oh, one hundred fifty. Nine dollars, okay. People are gonna comment on this video, I know they will. They'll be like, oh, I've had mine for this long, it's fine. You just, you're just abusing your shit. Again, I don't abuse my controllers. I heavily use them I because I'm a fucking YouTuber. I got this thing the, the day it came out. November 4th, 2019. I noticed problems with this about a month after, but this thing has been rendered damn near unusable as of about January 22nd, 2020. So it lasted about three months. Almost four. I still use it. I use it on stream too. It's just super fucking difficult to use my RB. That's why I die so much now. Because I can't switch my weapons. Isn't or if I try to put some force. I'm streaming along with it long as a GTA player, so don't blame him. Just won't go there. I love the elite lineup of controllers. They're beautiful controllers. They are built and marketed to be the best of the best, and they are. They are the best of the best controllers. I'm not denying that. The Elite Series 1, back when Scuff had like controllers that had four paddles that were re like weirdly aligned and had trigger stops, that's about it, for 300 bucks. The Elite Series 1 came out at 150 bucks with detachable, replaceable thumbsticks. Yeah, I use, yeah. yeah. 150 bucks is like the cheapest is a poor controller can be. But, like I said, the Ways of Wolverine's ultimate cost is like 160 bucks. D-pad, paddles, a rubberized texture on all, the entire casing. It had a bunch of features, and it was only 150 bucks. That was a steal. And for whatever reason, the Elite Series 1s lasted way longer than the Series 2 did, because everyone's talking about how their fucking Series 2s are dying. I've had multiple people tell me, multiple, but actually though, close to a dozen, say that they have either gotten theirs in the mail broken, it broke after a month, their, stop, their trigger stop stopped working, they started slipping, they started getting stick drift, bumper stopped working, the Bluetooth started to fuck up, dude. These controllers are built like shit, and it pisses me off, because I've spent the past year, I got my Elite Series 1 controller February 12th, 2019, it's February 1st. I've had Elite, I've been on Elite controllers for about a year, and I've been defending them until the very fucking end, and I can't do it anymore, because they're fucking garbage. Fuck this thing. Case roll around so much. I'm moving on to the Razor Wolverine. This is the Razor Wolverine. Okay, Wol let's switch because he's fucking. Um, <laughs> it's gonna be a lot harder. First, check the comments. Um, yeah, I had 2016, but it broke. Um, but but last time I used it was. I had it since I had the control since 2015. Using last time we were using January 2016. Don't know what the hell happened to it. Yeah, just a conversation I had with him. Okay, let's continue. It was, the video was only nine minutes. I even record like a freaking 12 minute video or something. I didn't want to be here again. Never thought I would be here again. But here we are. So if I'm being 100% honest, I haven't really thrown or tossed or mistreated a controller in probably a year and a half at this point. I'm gonna treat my controller as well. 
but they haven't really been doing the same thing in return. You see, the thing is, is that once I stopped breaking controllers, that was the same time uh, I started getting really expensive ones. That was the time I started getting my elite controllers, and they all just failed on me, including this one. This yeah, it's sad uh, that everything just fails on you, because um, cause I made, like, because this me made, like, an extra freaking minute of footage saying that the stream's canceled. Stream's canceled to the mall. Oh, but I'm recording this video for you guys. So, if BQ's watching this, you the best, but I'm starting to question if you're, like, the unluckiest person alive or just freaking and actually, actually or just... Is somehow they just worrying out on you on purpose. One that actually failed on me today. I was playing creative. I hopped off controller for a little bit. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna set my controller down, play keyboard and mouse for a little bit. Yeah, mouse and keyboard players are the most those mm, stupidest waste on the planet because they over here complaining about aim assist even though legacy has been removed for a while now. Now. So they freaking don't want, don't want controls to exist anymore, or they want Fortnite to die, because most of the players are controller or console players. Play the keyboard mouse for a little bit. I hop back at my controller, and my joystick feels gross. It feels disgusting. Made in it has this groggy click that's like 18. it sounds like it's hitting something and then like slipping off of it and falling down. Click, 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 click. Okay, so I'm going to show the contro my controller um, in a while. Oh, I was about to get it, so I will keep working it. I don't know. Oh, there's something underneath it that's, like, broken. And now I have stick drift, and I can't really crouch. Well, I can crouch, but it's like... I feel like I'm breaking something every time I do it. I had a controller that was destroyed upon delivery. Uh, one that lasted four months, one that lasted six months, this one lasted a month and a half. I'm not doing controllers anymore. I'm not doing mouse and keyboard either. I fucking hate mouse and keyboard. I hate the mouse and keyboard community so much, I don't want to be a part yeah, of it. Yeah, everyone just hates the mouse and keyboard community now, because it's freaking annoying. Calling myself a mouse and keyboard player pisses me off. That I would never do that. It's to the point where I just refuse to fully make the switch. At the very least, I would have been a hybrid player if this controller hadn't broke. But the warranty on this thing is going to cover what I really want. I'm getting the Razer Tardis V2. <laughs> Why is it called the Tartarus? It's called the Razer Tartarus V2. It's a gaming keypad with a joystick, so you have controller-esque movement, and you have uh, keys right there. So you have all the you know keys of a keyboard, which there's 32 programmable buttons. You have keys around your thumbstick, and you have a thumbstick. And it's shaped like a mouse. It's like the inverse of a mouse. I use a joystick to move, I aim with the mouse. It sounds like the most ideal way to play video games, so I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get on a gaming keypad and I'm gonna try it. Gaming keypad $60 and I need a new Xbox controller because I don't have- Okay, so... It's nearly the end of this video. I'm gonna give a rating for each of it. Um... The don't... Buy the Xbox Elite Series 2, I'll give it like... A 9 out of 10, even though I got 12 because I've... Like, I don't want to freaking play like a decent to a bot player anymore. Now I just play as a decent to like a very good player. Um, for this video, I give it like a 5 out of 10. Because, um, um, the freaking ways are over and stuff. Like, but, uh, I really prefer the Xbox Elite Series 2. Or if you have the money. For it, but this control depends on if you want because I this control is made for like freaking Rainbow Six Siege, it's, it's like made for it. But I finished it with the controller, then the video ends because I ain't finna waste my time anymore. I see you, you guys. In a while. All right, is the controller all black so. That's it for the video. See you guys tomorrow. Peace. Freaking nearly a 15 minute video just to work stuff. Bull crap.